You know the saying, you get what you pay for. How customers of this kitchen benchtop company wish that was true. They've paid thousands and got nothing. Hi, Eric. Uh, Seb Costello with The Current Affair. We just want to have a chat about FCA Stones. He's got no interest in actually doing the jobs. He's just quite interested in taking people's money and running. Keep your money in your pocket. Find someone else, because you literally won't see it again. The shiny centrepiece of many a kitchen makeover, a solid stone bench top is a slab of luxury renovators scrimp for. But for these families, it's been a case of marbled madness after dealing with a bench top business they say is a rock bottom ripoff. In taking someone's money and then promising the world and not coming through is disgraceful. It's just not right. Melbourne dad Pat Kaya runs a suburban cleaning business. In 2022, Pat was renovating his family home and while researching stone bench tops, he came across Eric Fernandez of FCA Stone and Glass. He came out and quoted, he came out and measured up, and when it came to the money side of it, it turned pear-shaped. After going back and forth via text, Pat says Eric asked for a $6,500 deposit, which Pat paid in cash. Eric later asked for another $2,000, which Pat says he transferred online. Once he'd got our money, it was wash his hands of it. He just wouldn't get back to us. As the weeks went by, the texts turned toxic and Pat sought answers that never came. I'm not a stupid person, but I got played by him, as many others did. It's annoying that people can just get away with it. Matt Smythe was another rocked by his experience with FCA Stone and Glass. Matt's plans for a new benchtop saw him hand over almost $6,000 to FCA in April 2023. And after it became clear things weren't measuring up, Matt said goodbye to his money and found another supplier. If I was going to be giving out six grand for free, I'd pick a good charity. I wouldn't necessarily pick um, Shaka and Eric at, at FCA Stone and Glass. Eric and one-time partner Shaka Blanchett touted for business with ads like this on Facebook Marketplace. FCA Stone and Glass was registered in 2018 with Blanchett as company director. Administrators were appointed in August last year. On some of the receipts provided to customers, FCA Stone listed this factory in Melbourne South East as the address for the business. But as we've discovered, if you did come here looking for your money or your marble, you might hit a stone wall. Vu runs this factory. He says he did some work for Eric, but not anymore. So just to be clear, yep. this address is listed on the invoice. Yep. Was FCA Stone ever based here? No. I asked them to remove it off. Builder Scott Doward nails a lot of good business through Facebook, and that's where he came across FCA Stone and Glass. To be honest with you, 90% of the time with tradies, uh, you have no problems. but. Unfortunately, there's some bad apples out there like Eric and Shaka. Scott still got the receipt showing he paid $4,700 in December 2022, but Scott's benchtop never surfaced. We got into early February um, and basically the conversations got nastier and he pretty much just told me, if you're not happy, take it to a current affair, go to VCAT, good luck. I'd like to see how it turns out. Well, this is how it turned out when we found Eric at home. Hi, Eric. Uh, Seb Costello with The Current Affair. We just want to have a chat about FCA Stone. You need to speak to the owner. By owner, we assume he means listed company director, Shaka Blanchett. Mate, then ask me, mate. Eric, do you mind stopping and having a chat to us? Eric? Eric? Do you mind just stopping and having a chat? There's a lot of people looking for some money. To be exact, we've heard from 13 former customers who say they've lost a collective $63,000. When we caught up with Eric, he tried to distance himself from FCA Stone. Mostly, who did you deal with? Eric. Eric was the main person I dealt with. In the end, we dealt with Shaka as well. And as for anyone who might come across FCA Stone, Shaka or Eric... Do not deal with him. End of story. Just don't deal with him. Well, it seems karma and the cops have caught up with Eric and Shaka. Victoria Police say they'll be laying charges.